So let's talk about the man from Kazakhstan, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Uh, a lot of people are mentioning a lot of names surrounding Golovkin. Uh, recently, he was asked about a fight with Floyd Mayweather um, and also about a fight with Andre Ward. There's a lot of people who, for some deluded reason, believe that Mayweather versus Golovkin is going to happen. Um, there's a lot of people who just want to see that fight happen. Here's the deal. I'm consistent in my thoughts about these kind of things. Number one, Golovkin's got to still prove himself at middleweight. I think he's doing that right now. Personally, I think he's the best middleweight in the world, and he's proven it. Uh, Sergio Martinez has fallen off big time, big time, uh, since his fight with Chavez Jr. I mean, he almost got stopped at the end of that fight. And uh, he almost got stopped versus uh, Martin Murray, man. He was getting hit in that fight. So uh, Sergio Martinez isn't really looking that great right now. And people are finally starting to give Triple G his props and understand that this dude is a threat, man, in the middleweight division. Um, but that's the thing. This guy's fighting at 160. Uh, and I think people need to be reasonable with these opponents that they're naming for Mayweather. I mean, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. I mean, he just beat Canelo. Mayweather needs to just stay in a division and, and just fight whoever the top guys are at that division. And uh, Glovkin's not even the top of his division right now, so... That whole fight is just crazy that people are even bringing that up. That just shows that people are just looking for anybody to fight Mayweather right now, man. So people need to be a little bit more realistic with opponents for Mayweather. Okay, let's just keep it real. Um, Andre Ward. Uh, Golovkin was asked about Andre Ward. And he said that's a fight that he's very interested in, man. And he, he has been calling out Ward for the longest. Is it smart? Probably not. Um, but... Uh, Let's look at this here. Uh, Golovkin's in a position where a lot of guys in his division don't want to fight him. But at the same time, I feel like HBO has really been putting a lot of, of the machine behind Golovkin. And he, he did just come off of that win versus Matthew Macklin. And now he's going to, I think he's going to start getting some bigger fights at middleweight. People are going to have to because there's just so many, uh, only so many names there. So... Why he's being rash and kind of running up to, to fight Andre Ward, I mean, I admire it. I think it's cool. Uh, he's going to be on the world stage if he gets that fight. And uh, I think Ward's going to jump all over it. You know, I think it'll be a nice little notch on Ward's belt. You know, uh, the thing about Ward is we, we got to see how Ward looks in this upcoming fight. You know, is he going to look like the old Ward? Is he going to look a little bit different? How much did this injury and this layoff affect his game? Um... I mean, I, I wouldn't bet against Andre Ward. This guy's a true professional, so I expect him to be in tip-top shape. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how he looks. And I expect Golovkin versus Ward to happen. I don't think it's really a great business decision on Golovkin's part, but that's what I expect to happen. It's a great business decision on, on, on Ward's part. He's going to get Golovkin under his belt. It's a nice name to have on there. He could say he beat a middleweight who everybody was afraid of. And it'll just be something else to build onto going into the Carl Frotch fight. Uh, you know, so I think it'll be a good move for Ward. Not so sure about Golovkin. But these are my thoughts about these things. Mayweather, Golovkin is absolutely not going to happen. Mayweather has four fights left. And he, he's not going to fight Golovkin, man. His track record says he is not going to fight Golovkin. There's no money. There's just absolutely no reason in it. I, I mean, I, I just don't get why people are even getting excited about that fight potentially happening. It's not going to happen. Uh, Ward Golovkin really has a very strong chance of happening next year. So those are my thoughts on this whole situation. You guys let me know what y'all think. Peace.